Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Microsoft tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to back your database uh, for Microsoft SQL Server. So sometimes, for example, if you buy a new PC or for some reason uh, you lost all your data uh, because of an incident and you need to restore your database, then periodically to back your database is a good way to prevent uh, any loss of data. So in this video, I'm going to show you two ways to back up your uh, database for Microsoft SQL Server. So the first method I'm going to show you is the manual way, basically to use the uh, backup feature of Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And the second method is using T-SQL, which is a little bit more technical, but it's not too bad. So right here, I have a, a simple script that creates a, a database called TestDB. Actually, this the so let me drop this database real quick. So I'm going to run uh, this script right here. And this script is going to create a, a simple database called testdb. And here, let me go to a blank script. So here, if I uh, connect to the testdb database, and within this database, I have one table. The table is called customer table. And if I just do a select everything from customer, oops, uh, should be customer table. And we're going to get five records. And to back up your database, what you want to do is, so uh, the main way is you can click on the database that you want to save a backup. So let's say I want to save a backup for the test DB database. And I'll click on the database and I'll right click my mouse and I'll go to test assist and I'll choose backup. So by default, um, SQL Server Management Studio already choose a uh, backup file file name for you. So it's going to use the database name that BAK file and BAK file is the backup file that SQL Server uses. So if you want to change the the file path that we want to store the backup file, you can first of all remove the file path and click on add. And under the file name, so here you can click on this uh, dot 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 button. And here you can navigate to a different folder. And I'm going to choose uh, my backup folder as backup, uh, which is the default folder uh, Microsoft uses to backup all the databases. And here I need to provide a name. So for the file name, uh, you can give any file name you want. I'm going to name my file name testdb. Uh, today is the the twenty third. So I'm going to use eleven twenty three dot bak and make sure that you include the file extension and click on OK and click on OK again. So right here is going to be a new file path where the backup file is going to get saved and click on OK. Now you're going to get this pop-up message, the backup of database, uh, the, the database name complete successfully. Now click on OK. OK, and now let me drop the database. So I'll show you how to restore the database. So if I uh, drop database followed by the database name, And so you can see that the testdb database is now dropped. So to restore the database, you want to click on databases folder and right click your mouse and click on restore database. Select device and click on this dot 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 button. And you want to click on add. And here you want to navigate to the folder where you save the backup files. And since all my backup file is saved under the default backup folder, so I'm going to navigate to that folder. And here's the backup file that I just saved. And I'm going to choose this backup file and click on OK. And click on OK again. And SQL Server Management Studio is going to automatically recognize the backup database right here. So here we have the name, component, uh, the backup type, and the server name, and so on. And click on OK to restore. 
And here I got a message, database test DB restored successfully and click on OK. Now if I go back and to uh, do a select from, it should be connect to the test DB database first. And now if I do a select everything from customer table, and all my tables, in this case, uh, just a single table, are now restored successfully. So that's the first method. And the second method that I want to show you is to use the tsql script. And this is my preferred method to back up my database, just because the process is a little bit automated. And once you create a script, and you can basically just run the same script again while going to all those manual processes. So to use tsql script to back up database, and here I'm going to use the, the same uh, sample database. First, you want to connect to the database that you want to export a backup file. And next, you want to type backup database and followed by the database name that you want to uh, backup. And I'm going to backup my test DB database. And next, you want to use the to desk command. And this parameter is going to specify where you want to uh, export the backup file. So I'm going to delete uh, these two backup files. And I'm going to copy this uh, data to right here. And it's going to be single quotation. And so this is the, the folder where I want to export my backup file. And for the backup file, uh, so you can name anything you want. So I'm going to name the backup file hello, hello.bak. And just for a uh, demonstration. So I'm going to use the the wait option to uh, set additional uh, information to my backup file. So you want to type with format and comma, and we can provide the name to the uh, the backup. And I'm going to uh, name that for backup of test DB. And next, we can provide the media name. So media name is just is basically just an identifier uh, to your backup file. And I'm going to name the media name test db one. And we can also provide the description. So in case if you need to uh, add additional information or details to your backup, here you can provide a description. So I'm going to say this. It's a backup file of test uh, test DB database, and that's it. Now, if I press F five or uh, click on the execute to uh, run the script, and here we we'll get uh, this message: uh, backup database successfully processed. Depending on the volume and the size of your database, and the page number and and the time that required to process uh, may vary. But if you see this message, that means you have successfully backed your database. Now, if I go back to my backup folder, and here's my uh, database backup file. Now, let me drop the, the test DB database, and I'm going to show you how to restore the database using uh, tsql script. Okay, now my test DB database is now dropped. Okay, let me go back. To restore the database uh, using a backup file, so you want to type restore database and followed by the database name. So this is going to be a new database name. So it doesn't have to be the same database name that when you first uh, save a backup. So I'm going to name my um, database test db uh, v2, so mini uh, version 2. And next you want to type from desk. And this is the location where the, the backup file is located. So I'm going to grab the file path of my hello.bak file. So 
So if I just run uh, these three lines and press F5 to run uh, the script, and here I get this message, restore database successfully process. Now if I refresh my database, and here's my backup database, testdb uh, underscore v2. So let me open a blank script. And if I connect to that database, and if I do a select from customer table, and here's all my records from the same customer table. So this is everything I have to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.